Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video about how EA stole billions of coins from users accounts today, how it affects the market going forward and what you can do if you were affected. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you drop a like on it and subscribe to the channel if you are new. But today guys, huge news came out. Tons of people were affected by this. I'm talking like a ton of people were affected by this. But if you play Madden Mobile, you probably heard that a bunch of people lost millions and millions of coins. And basically what happened, guys, as far as I understand it, is that EA ran some sort of an automatic algorithm through their transaction history. And it picked up people who, number one, purchased coins from secondhand sellers like coin websites and things like that that are against terms of service fine fair enough although some of us are in disagreement that that should be against terms of service technically it is against terms of service and i don't necessarily have a problem with them banning people for it because of that reason however a lot of the people who were affected by this error today are people who did not purchase coins and this is the problem with the way that ea does things the only thing that they're searching for is transactions that set off their little radar and basically what it sounds like they were going for was any big transactions. I mean, we're talking like the really huge transactions and tons of people who made those types of transactions were not necessarily banned today, but they are going to have their auction houses limited. And not only that, but it's also very possible that uh, they had tons of coins taken from their account, depending on exactly what happened to them. So, for example, guys, if you went on and you at some point open packs legitimately, let's say you even bought coins from the actual, I shouldn't say coins, you bought packs from the Madden store using Madden Ultimate Team points or, or Madden points or whatever you want to call it, Madden cash. If you did that and you purchased packs and you pulled, let's say, one of the limited edition cards like the Randy Moss or something like that, and it was worth 70 million coins because the market on mobile is insanely inflated, guys, if you don't know that. And quite frankly, there's something to be said for the fact that they needed to do something, but I think they made the wrong decision. But continuing on, if you were to have pulled that Randy Moss and it was worth 70 million coins and you decided that you wanted to sell that card, that transaction almost certainly set off their radar today. That transaction alone, even though it was a card that was worth the amount that you sold it for, you didn't go on and try and sell it for cash. You didn't do some crazy thing where you sold it for one coin or you know whatever, some tiny uh, amount so that you could get money from the person. You didn't do anything like that. So basically, there are a whole hell of a lot of people who made legitimate transactions who are now down to 100,000 coins, which doesn't sound that terrible, but when you hear the stories of people that had 30 million coins, 70 million coins, even 5 million coins, 10 million coins on their account, they're down to 100,000 coins. That happened today. So again, if you logged on and you got the message that you see on your screen, you were affected by this. And not only do you have an issue where you're probably hurting now for coins, but also there's a possibility that you are going to have your auction house uh, potentially affected as well. So that is definitely an issue. Obviously, it says that your auction house is temporary, temporarily disabled. We're not really, really sure how long that's going to affect people. It might be varying lengths. It might be for a very long period of time. We really don't know at this point. But what we do know is that a bunch of people were affected by this and a bunch of people who made legitimate transactions or legitimate purchases on the auction house um, did things like grinding and sold, resold cards, things like that. It's a bad, bad, bad problem. Tons of people are pissed and rightfully so. People who are grinders are losing a ton of coins. If you guys don't know what a grinder is, there, there are a bunch of different definitions for it. But in Mad Mobile, it's pretty much people who either grind the auction house or go in and grind solo challenges and things like that or a combination of the two. And a lot of people who work that auction house every single day, they go on there and they buy cards for you know a low price at a certain point because they know that those cards are going to go up in price because we if you've played this game for years on end you generally know the types of promos that they like to do so a lot of times you'll be able to figure out hey this type of card is likely to go into a set for a promo that's coming up so i'm going to purchase it now when it's a low price and i'm going to resell it when it's going for a quite a bit more maybe only even 20 percent more 30 percent more but in some cases it rises way more substantially than that it could go up five ten times the amount that you purchased it for and while that 
probably sets off their radar, it's not an illegitimate transaction. You're purchasing it for the amount that it's on the auction house for, and then you know that it's going to be worth more down the road. These types of things are done in the stock market all the time. We buy things for a low amount with the assumption that it's going to rise down the road. And that's essentially what you have with cards in Madden Ultimate Team or Madden Mobile. You have little tiny shares of stocks. You can kind of look at it that way. Now, granted, you don't really get dividends or things like that because you can't sell them for coins or sell them for money without getting banned. Or I guess you can, but, you know, it, it's it's a difficult situation. Um, but my point is, is that you can kind of look at it like the stock market. And, and if you really think about it, there's nothing scummy about that at all. It's just making the right decision at the right time to invest in it, something and then selling it for a profit down the road, whether it be real estate, whether it be, like I said, stocks, there are all kinds of different thing that, things that this applies to. But those people, a lot of those people were affected. In addition to those people, you have people that do sniping. Now, sniping is kind of a more extreme version of auction house grinding. And basically what that is, is you go on and you search for specific cards that, let's say, uh, something just dropped, like one of the legends or something, and you're looking for lower versions of that card so that you can put it into a set to get the better version, just as an example. That would be a, a form of sniping. You're searching for ones that are were incorrectly put up for a certain price, uh, whether it be by accident or or whether it be by just somebody not really knowing. Uh, let's say, for example, a, a certain card is worth 250,000 coins and the person only puts it up for 25,000. Chances are that was a mistake. They meant to put 250, but they didn't put enough zeros. But either way, you're going on there and purchasing it for a legitimate price. If you don't buy it, somebody else is going to. So you might as well be the person to do it. Uh, that's a form of sniping. Another form of sniping, of course, is just searching for ones that are, you know, decently priced or, um, you know, again, kind of like we were talking about with the grinding, trying to get more coins based on you're buying it for a low price and knowing that it's going to go up down the road but those people obviously those type of transactions because you might be purchasing it for twenty five thousand and then reselling it for two hundred and fifty thousand that's the type of thing that can set off their radar as well so all of these types of things are not against terms of service whatsoever but in their effort to try and cut down on coin buying these people were affected by this whole situation and taking this kind of action is certainly a big impact on coin sellers. They lost a ton of coins today, you have to imagine. But the reality is that a few things are going to happen from this. Number one, coin prices are going to go up from this significantly. So if you're somebody that likes to purchase coins from these secondhand coin sellers, you might have been getting them for a low, low price before this. They're going to go up a lot now. I mean, if you're still willing to take that risk, you got to consider the fact that billions of coins probably tens of billions of coins if you really think about it because even if you just look on reddit on the madden um madden mobile reddit you're gonna see tons of people talking about that tens of million coins are off their account and that's just a super small sample size of that whole community that plays madden mobile and a ton of people got affected by this thing trust me now when i say billions of coins just got deleted that's because they took let's say if somebody had 10 million coins on their account and now they're down to 100,000, they just took 9.9 .9 million coins off of the market it's not like they're putting it back in so that somebody else has it no 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 those are just gone now when you start to take a huge chunk of the entire population's of money out of uh, out of existence you're going to see that the price on everything else goes up so that's a big issue of course there's scarcity now on these coins so that means that when prices go up you're probably going to see that that's not going to affect coin sellers as much as you would expect because yes they're going to have to purchase the coins for a certain amount however there's a lot of people that are going to be wanting to get out of Madden Mobile right now. They're going to sell their coins at a low price to those coin sellers. And now those coin sellers are going to be able to sell, resell those coins for a much higher margin than they would have before. So that's a big problem. People used to be able to build an epic team for pretty cheap. And now you are going to have to spend hundreds of dollars to get a good team if you're buying coins. For sure. You used to be able to maybe buy, you know, a couple million coins for like 10 bucks. And that is not going to happen anymore. So I, I think that's going to affect people in a negative way. Um, and just keep that in mind. Also consider the fact that the auction house prices are probably going to go down as well. So when you see that there are tens of millions 
of uh, coins coming out of one person's account, you multiple multiply that by thousands of people. Again, we're talking about billions and billions of coins being removed from existence. That's going to lower the price on the actual items on the auction house because the items weren't getting removed. They're still in the game, but people don't have coins anymore. There aren't anybody really out there at this point that's going to have hundreds of millions of coins or even probably many people having tens of millions of coins. So if that's the case, then you can't sell a card for 30 million coins like you could before. So again, the auction prices are going to go down. So keep that in mind. And you, you got to kind of take that information into account and do what you can with it. You know that the, the prices on things are going to go down. So right now, my opinion is try and sell it for as much as you can before people start to realize that the prices on these things are dropping huge amounts that they're going to over the next couple of days. Now, this does not necessarily just apply to Madden Mobile. EA could also easily implement this on console. And I would actually expect that this is a possibility. Now, the problem is, is that, of course, console is something that is a little bit more difficult to do because you're dealing with you know a, a different type of community you're dealing with a lot more adults and those people are a lot more likely to be able to fight back against ea so just keep that in mind but again there's nothing that says that they can't do this so my personal opinion guys is that you're going to have to take action so i'm going to give you guys a couple of suggestions here number one going forward if you continue to buy coins, purchase actual items with those coins. Do not just leave the coins on your account. And I know this can be something that we don't necessarily like to do, but if you can, try and purchase actual items. So let's say you buy 10 million coins or something along those lines, just as an example. Go on and make some purchases that at least come close to that 10 million so that at least you have something. Don't just buy 10 million coins and then leave the 10 million coins on your account because then EA can take that really, really easily. That's not to say that they can't take the cards that you had, that you purchased, but at least in this round of transactions where they're taking, well, I shouldn't even call them transactions. They're certainly not mutual. This round of robbery, I should call it, they didn't take cards from people's accounts. It doesn't appear. At least nobody's reporting that at this point. So let's say you did buy a Randy Moss or whatever card for 10 million coins you probably still have that Randy Moss. Now you can take and sell that Randy Moss. Now again, of course, that Randy Moss is not going to be worth 10 million anymore, but at least you didn't lose the entire 9.9 .9 million because you still would have been left with 100,000 on your account. So just keep that in mind. I would really highly recommend, even on console right now, if you're buying coins, just for the time being at least, until we see if anything else happens, I would really highly recommend that you at least make, to make a purchase pretty quickly after that of some sort of a card or a card's uh, preferably you want to you don't want to just have one thing because again that itself could set off their freaking radar and i keep calling it a radar but i i guess i don't know what they're really referring to it as but you know internally they're calling it something and they definitely have some sort of automated script that runs through and finds these things so just keep that in mind now continuing on another suggestion if you have coins that and did not if you had coins taken i should say by ea if you were one of the people that was affected and you did not break terms of service specifically if you did not break terms of service you need to make sure that you put pressure on ea make your voice heard let them know on twitter let them know ea madden mobile EA Madden NFL and EA Help. Those are the three that I would recommend. You could also hit up some of the developers if you want to. If you do get hit on console, I don't really know who's running the show on mobile. They do a pretty good job of keeping that pretty quiet, actually. So if you do have any suggestion on who to hit up specifically regarding Madden Mobile, go ahead and leave that in the comments section below. That might be helpful for other people. So you can do that. Make sure, again, that your voice gets heard on various different social media. Also, this is a big one. You can get a refund from Apple or Google for any in-game purchases you made as long as you did not break terms of service. So if you didn't break terms of service, and, and by saying that, I'm, I'm talking about buying coins from a secondhand website. We do know that that is breaking terms of service. Yes, I have advertised that in the past. And yes, you can get banned for it. We never have claimed that you can't. It's just a matter of risk and reward with it. They don't typically do things like this. So throughout the history of purchasing coins, this really hasn't been much of an issue. But today, this is a big problem, of course. So if again, if you did not break terms of service, contact Apple or Google Play 
and I will leave links to those contact uh, the various different contact methods in the description below um, and the reason for it is because I, I, I can't just give you website URLs because there's different ones for if you're on a PC or if you're on a mobile device itself but in the articles that I'm going to leave there will be a couple different ways for you to do it so uh, go ahead and check out the description of this video there will be a link for uh, to get your money back from Apple and then also to get your money back from Google if you purchased it on Android so go ahead and check those things out now again this is kind of like the equivalent of putting money into a slot machine if they ban you and you didn't break terms of service. Imagine if you went into a casino and you put money into a slot machine, you won a jackpot, you got the Randy Moss, and then you leave the casino and come back another day, but we find out that they forcibly took the money out of your account the next time that you came back to the casino. That's basically what happened here. They have no excuse for doing that. And there is some risk to this, to getting an actual refund from Apple or Google. I do want to point that out. EA has actually banned people in the past when they've received refunds. But honestly, if all your coins are gone at this point, who really cares? If you can't use the auction house, all your coins are gone. I mean, the best case scenario that you can really have is getting your coins or getting your money back. Hopefully they don't ban you. But if they do, I mean... I, I guess who cares in my opinion it's probably still worth it to do it because there's not really anything stopping them from doing this again to your account and taking your coins again even if you again earn them legitimately I mean it's just a big issue right now especially if they continue to do what they're currently doing so you can do that you can get the refund from Apple or Google or you could potentially go out and get a refund directly from your credit card company. Now, this one's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more difficult. But if Apple or Google don't give you your money back for any specific reason, you can always try contacting your credit card company and let them know the situation. Let them know that you were unjustly banned on their, their account or on your account. Or I shouldn't say banned. You, uh, you unjustly had your coins taken off of your account because that's definitely not okay. And also, the last thing that I would recommend, guys, is leave bad reviews on the Apple App Store and the Google Play Store. Let other people know that this is a problem, that they're going out here and they're legitimately just stealing coins from people. And especially, again, if you didn't do anything that was against terms of service, there's no reason for you to talk positively about this whole thing. You need to make sure that you're letting your voice be heard on every platform that it can be because otherwise they will continue to do this. Look at what happened with Battlefield recently. EA, same company. They went out with just a crazy play to, to win type of situation with the new Battlefield game. And guess what? Or I, I, I think it was Battlefront, excuse me. I, I'm trying to remember. It was either Battlefront or Battlefield. But... Either way, because they're so such a similar name, and uh, the obviously they're both shooters, and they basically were doing the same types of things. But uh, whatever one it was, and I, I forget off the top of my head right now, but they were they had a, a really crazy play to to win system. People fought back against it, and before the game came out, I guess it must have been Battlefront. Now that I think about it, but before the game came out, they went in and they changed it. They dropped the prices on things by like seventy five percent. EA will listen if enough of us come together and fight back against this. Believe it or not, leaving bad reviews on Apple App Store, Google Play Store, if enough people do it, it's going to affect things because what's going to happen is that they're going to see that rating drop on the Apple App Store. And trust me, the investors pay attention to those things. And so do the people that download the game. So if they see that those ratings are not where they're supposed to be they're going to have questions for those developers and they're going to be asking what the hell they're doing why aren't we making as much money why aren't many people downloading this it's a big big issue so again guys i'm going to quick run through the things again suggestions if you buy coins make sure that you are going ahead and actually purchasing real items on the auction house not leaving tons of coins on your account that they can just steal at any time number two if you didn't break tos make sure you contact them on twitter various other social media and let them know and uh you know be vocal about it don't be a complete a-hole because it's not the individual's fault who's reading the twitter feed but make sure that they know that you're unhappy then go ahead and get a credit card refund I would highly, highly recommend this one. Last, leave a review for 
your Apple App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what you have. So there you have it, guys. Hopefully that gives you guys a big rundown of what happened. I know it's a long video, but I wanted to make sure everybody got all the information that they need. So if you enjoyed it, make sure you drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks so much, guys. Good luck going forward. Sorry this happened, but you know, what can we do? Thanks again, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Guys, again soon. Guys, again soon.